because I came with your own. with Collard Valley Cooks. It is Sunday morning. We're coming to you live from the Collard Valley Cooks kitchen. Today I'm going to teach y'all how to do biscuit mix. I like to mix up a lot of biscuit mix and have it handy because then you can make biscuits for two or pancakes for three and it's a lot easier to use. And boy is it better than using something like Bisquick. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to show you how quick you can do it. You can use your stand mixer or you can do it by hand if you've got a blending fork like I do. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to use two cups of flour, just as your standard biscuit recipe. And you're going to add a quarter cup of shortening. Now I use half yellow shortening, which is butter shortening, and half white shortening when I do biscuit mix. It's just the best of both worlds a little bit. And a lot of y'all um, want to use butter, but now this is biscuit mix that you can keep in the pantry, and uh, so butter wouldn't work as well to keep it, you know, ready and in your pantry. And then you're just going to use your blending fork and you're just going to blend it till it's about pea size. And I'm going to show you how fast I can do this this morning and how fast you can have a good bit of bis biscuit mix ready. I'm going to turn around and make a couple of biscuits and um, some pancakes for you guys to show you how quick it can be. So right now we're just cutting in the shortening into the flour until it's about pea size. You don't want it real little tiny or your biscuits won't be fluffy when you mix them up. And now you're just going to put it in a container that's airtight and start again. So I'm going to do at least uh, probably three, this three times at least so that we have a good bit of biscuit mix. Now this is white lily flour, which is really light, fluffy winter wheat, and it's usually good right out of the bag. You don't have to normally have to sift it or anything like that. The only time I sift my flour is if I get some flour that... Uh, Is real lumpy looking and may not have been kept at the right temperature or something during storage time and then I will um, sift it but most of the time with white lily it is nice and fluffy and wonderful to make biscuits with it's real light and a great flour if you're not familiar with the White Lily brand, Chris will show you a picture up on the wall of the White Lily brand. And the next time you go in the grocery store, if you live in the southeast, you should be able to find some White Lily. That one's ready. See, it doesn't take long to make it. Then when you get up in the morning and you're tired and you just want to put a couple of biscuits in the oven, if there's just one or two of you, it's so much easier when you've got some mixed up already. So what you're going to do is take a third cup scoop and you're going to use a third cup per person. And there's three of us here today. So I'm going to use three of these. Now that's pretty much maybe a biscuit and a half or something like that, or a biscuit, pretty much. And um, that's all the biscuits I'm going to make this way. And you're just going to put some milk in here. And you put in, for a spoon biscuit, it can be kind of runny. 
So just stir it and add your milk at the same time until you get it all stuck together. And that's buttermilk, right? And this is whole buttermilk. And they can be runnier than this if you want them to run across the sheet, or they can be like, just like this, where they're pretty sticky. And now all you're going to do is pick it up and put it on the sheet. And this is a spoon biscuit. And if you like crunchy biscuits, you know, that are all mainly crust, crusty, this is it. Which is what my daddy likes. Yeah. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with making spoon biscuits, and anybody can make a spoon biscuit. So if you haven't tried your hand at biscuits because you're nervous or you just haven't had a lot of luck in the past, then by all means, take the time out and make a spoon biscuit. It's, it's worth it. it. They're delicious. They don't really stuff well as far as putting eggs and sausage inside of them, but boy, are they good to eat with butter and syrup and, and with your breakfast. They're really good. So we're gonna slide these in the oven and these are gonna bake at 450 degrees. Next, I'm gonna mix up some regular biscuits real quick, just a couple to show y'all and we'll make those in the air fryer. To do something quick, let me show you how to do this. So, this time, you see about how many biscuits that made. That was for three people and it made about two a piece. Okay, so a third cup is going to make you about two biscuits a piece, which is about right for a breakfast or whatever, supper, whatever. All right, we're going to hop right back over here and we're going to make a biscuit in the air fryer. Now this time we're making biscuits. You're just going to add your milk a little bit at a time and you're going to mix it until there's no flour left. So that time I really got it more sticky than I should have. I'm going to add just a little bit of biscuit mix. And then we're going to get out our sifter and we're going to make a real biscuit out of these. And I really got those a little too wet, but that's all right. We'll make it happen. Now in your sifter, <clears throat> if you use a sifter to do this step, you need to use real flour and not biscuit mix, or you'll have shortening bits in your uh, strainer part, the netting part. So this time, We're going to put it out on the counter. Now I'm finished with that bowl for now. And I'm going to have to pat a good bit of flour into these because I got them so wet. Normally, you wouldn't get them quite that wet. You just need to be just sticky, just like those spoon biscuits were. And, um, and then you would knead them about seven times. And this time I'm having to fold them over a little extra. I know about how I want them to feel to make a biscuit. Mm, I'm gonna make a medium sized biscuit with this. Today. So I pat it out about, it's about a half inch to three quarter inch thick, I guess you'd say. And we're going to get these in the air fryer so these will cook quick. And I'll spray the bottom of the air fryer. And this one I'm just going to roll with my hands. I have a biscuit recipe on how to roll a biscuit as well. So you can roll a biscuit and make it just as pretty um, as a cut biscuit. All right. All 
I'm gonna spray the bottom of this. We're gonna set these down in there and then we're gonna start some pancakes. And the air fryer is automatically set on 350 and for quite a few minutes. So I'll leave it on that setting because the air fryer gets hotter together. And like y'all see how they look when they're baked right up against each other today instead of apart. And a lot of times I, I'll come in here and I'll make biscuits out, you know, yeah. when it's already made like, it's already done like that. I'll yeah, just, Chris always does our pancakes. All I have is throw some buttermilk or something in there. Right. Here we go. All right, for our pancakes, we use a third cup as well per person. So today I'm only going to use two because we've got biscuits as well. I'm just going to show you how easy it is to make pancakes for a couple of people. We put in a little bit of vanilla every time we make pancakes, no matter what. I guess I'll make three anyway. You can also store um, pancake mix in the refrigerator. I'm showing the easy way to do it. I'll show you all the easy way to make pancake. The vanilla and the sugar makes it good. And a good flour, puffy flour like this. How much sugar you put in, Chris? I just, just throw some in there. A little bit, yeah. That's way too much. Oh, uh, not too much. Well, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough. <laughs> you put about a, what was it? About a tablespoon. And we use a whisk. And you're going to eyeball it again. That, uh, what? The thing's not running. The, uh, the air fryer. Yeah, you never turned it on. You didn't hit start. I'm just going to bake them at 350 and be done with it. All right. Make it easy on me. So you eyeball it with pancakes as well as far as the milk goes. And you're going to want it. You can see it. It looked really runny, but once I start beating up the flour into that, that's about how you want it right there. So you're just going to add meal a little bit of time until you get it pretty thick like that. And the thicker it is, the thicker your pancake's going to be. And the thinner it is, the thinner your pancake's going to be. But you got to be careful not to get too thick or they won't get good and done on the inside. Right. And you got to have your, your skillet hot but not too hot or they'll get too brown without before getting done you want pancakes to bubble across the top before you flip them we'll go ahead and drop a couple here and i usually make one pancake at a time i got plenty of time since i'm making meat and then we'll scramble some eggs in this when we're done all right, let's flip this over. I'll trade sides with you, Chris. You can let them see how that's gonna bubble on the top over there. And once the bubbles start coming all the way across the pancake, that's when you can flip it. All right, we're gonna flip this. ham in my skillet because it got browner on one side than the other. Now we're going to flip this. You can stay right there. There you go. Okay. A little bit. Huh. So they can watch it rise. There it goes. Yep. Is it ready? Now this is a spoon biscuit. You can see it's crunchy on the outside, um, but they're delicious, y'all. Yeah, plenty of crunch. Okay, this is our biscuits in the air fryer. And they usually don't get very brown on the bottom, but they are plenty brown on the top. They're fine. So our biscuits are done. Our pancakes are done. I've I, I got this little, it's a defrost tray, and I sit it here uh, so that when my air fryer's done, I could just sit it down on the counter. Otherwise, it would burn the counter. There we go. Last pancake. 
Today I'm just going to fry these real quick. A little salt on them, a little pepper on them. And what plate? Yeah, this. I think the main thing is to show them the biscuits and let them see what they look like. Okay. Because everybody knows what a pancake is. This is a biscuit. These you can stuff because they're nice and cut out. So you could make your little hand biscuit this morning. Like that. And then these are for sopping up your butter and syrup. I'll show you how Chris does that right quick while we're waiting on these eggs. So Chris takes butter. Let me move this right here. And syrup. And he mixes it together. Mix it up. It's butter and syrup. I need to make y'all a peanut butter and syrup sandwich on here. I hadn't shown y'all how to do that yet. They're so good. All right, so this is what he'll eat the, with the spoon biscuit. And these are nice and crunchy, but nice and fluffy on the inside. They're really good. I'll eat one for y'all. <laughs> and then we'll sign off and eat breakfast. I hope y'all have a wonderful Sunday morning. Mmm, 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 that's good. Have a blessed day. And we'll see you next time on Collard Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. Y'all go make some biscuit meats. Thank you, Monterey.